And when in Turkey, do as the Turkish do. I don't even know if this is even legal right now. <laughs> what I just did, I don't even know that's legal, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Whoa. Mm. That is extremely different. I'm stuffed, but I have no choice. I'm just gonna keep eating and eating the entire time in Turkey. Turkey's expansive coastline is dotted with postcard perfect sites and hidden coves for all sun worshipers, food lovers, and every type of traveler. From Turkey's location to its rich history and cuisine, when you see the endless food options, you won't be able to resist trying them all. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain, honestly, the first week we're here. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon, and we're hungry, and I want some Turkish coffee. Halak Pizza Donar, and it's right on the corner by our apartment, but they have everything. They have beef, they have chicken. Unfortunately, today they don't have beef. So I did a bunch of research, and I was trying to figure out what we were going to do today in the rain. And it's quite unfortunate because it's Sunday, and because of the COVID times, the locals actually aren't allowed outside of the house on the weekends. Just about everything is closed. So we're gonna get some food, and of course, we ordered some fresh juice. I got pomegranate and orange to start the morning right, and then I'm gonna try and hopefully find some coffee after We need this. some Turkish coffee. I need some Turkish coffee. <laughs> We've been in Turkey for 10 hours now, and no Turkish coffee, something's wrong. So I got a chicken shawarma. It's got everything on it, so french fries, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, everything. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. I have yet to try it. But the people are so friendly here. The kid just came out, introduced himself, said he was from Syria. He's, it's just a really, really friendly vibe. Even though the streets are quiet, the people are still lively. Mm. It's so much different when you get a fresh juice. You can tell there's no added sugar in it. It's got that like sour, fresh, it's so juicy. Not dry at all. Mm. It's definitely got hot sauce in it. Mm -hmm. A mix of just so many different flavors. Every bite is a different flavor. The hot sauce actually has a really good kick to it. <clears throat> a really good kick Ooh. to it. <laughs> Whoa. That's a lot, a lot spicier than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> you see the tear wow. coming down my eye? This is There's spicy. A tear. It is very spicy. Ooh. I'm really struggling right now. <sighs> He's actually saying that this is Syria spicy, not Turkish spicy, so it's like even more spicy apparently. Ooh. Yeah, because it's from Syria. I am dying. <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> yeah, it's so spicy. Ooh. That was actually only 20 lira, which isn't bad. The fresh juice was 10 and the shawarma was 10. $2.69 and we just had breakfast with a fresh juice. Coffee. Turkish coffee, here. we want bomb Turkish coffee. Nice coffee, it's near Is it to close? Me. Yeah, here, just here. Okay, okay. Uh, there we go. So okay, this coffee shop actually looks closed, but but it's, it's not closed. It's just very dark inside. <laughs> That's okay. Just got out of the rain a little bit. We got some, we're gonna get some fresh Turkish coffee and maybe a dessert to go with it, just to try. Um, have yet to try any of the Turkish coffee. I have heard incredible things about it. So I'm really excited to try it. This place actually looked a little closed, but the locals said, come on in. Yes, if I wanted sugar, of course I said yes. So while I was in Brazil, I was actually staying at a coffee plantation and they taught me different things to try and get the full flavor out of the coffee. Like you actually breathe in when you first try your first sip. and you get full flavor. Turkish coffee is so special because not only is it the way it's made, but it comes from Arabic coffee beans. And they say that Turkish coffee grounds are the only coffee grounds in the world that can actually predict your fortune. It's so unique that it comes in such a small glass, such a strong flavor. Now, I've never actually seen this. You can tell that the settlement at the bottom of the cup is like very, very grainy but you can't even see the bottom of the cup. <laughs> like it is thick brown. Everything's a different taste. Yes, yes, yes. So can I have the spinach one? I'll try the spinach one. <laughs> I'll give it a go. I'm stuffed, but I have no choice. I'm just gonna keep eating and eating the entire time in Turkey. <laughs> Let's give it a go. I love that smell of the fresh dough that just came out. Oh, it's, it's got the yeast smell to it. Bomb. This is the spinach one. Oh, it's incredible. It's so warm, it's soft, it's delicious, it's got, it's 
full of spinach on the inside. Mm. So that's called Fatayer. 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 Ooh. How do you say it? How do you say it in Syrian? Yeah, same. Same Fatayer. 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 It's so good. Man, you guys are natural nice. cheese. Mm. Whoa. Where are you from? This is incredible. The cheese is super crumbly. It's got sesame seeds and some oil on top of the bread. It's really, really good. We were just asking this gentleman for coffee, where to get coffee. And now we come out of the coffee shop and he's feeding us so much, I might stay here all day. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chef Tantuni. Mr. Chef Tantuni, incredible place, super friendly people, and just some place you definitely need to stop by if you're here. Every place we've gone, everybody's waving, high-fiving, telling us a good day, peace be with you, just feeding us like incredible oh foods. It's so amazing to be walking around the city. And even when the city's a little slow right now because of the rough times, going out and exploring and helping the locals is really what it's all about. So I'm having so much fun today and making the most out of this really poor weather. So Istikala Avenue is actually one of the most famous streets in Istanbul, known for there being over 3 million people walking down it a day. Now there's over 3.6 million Syrians in Turkey, but there is over 3 million people walking on this one street each day on the weekend. It's known for not only incredible shopping, but it's boutique and endless eateries. You can walk down this street forever and just never see it all and never taste it all for sure. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. Thanks. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh, what a nice one. He got you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's give this almond caramel. This is it. very good actually. Thank you. Nice. Oh my god. Old Turkish ice cream. Really? Oh, it's so good. 20 lira, and this ice cream is probably the best ice cream I've ever had. It is so creamy. I got the caramel almond one. It's so creamy, so delicious. That is more than just an ice cream. It is a show and an experience that you have to have. As you walk down the road, there's alleyways on the right and the left. And there's just so many different little things you can learn and see and experience down each alleyway. Tea time. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna say no to tea time. Anytime Jimmy steers off into an alleyway, I fall. Hello, I come. Hello. Tea, tea time. Tea? Uh, no tea. Sahle. Ah, sakla. You're gonna love it, guys. Sakla. 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 I have no idea how I even found this place. I just looked left. And when I looked left, I saw this little like golden pot just fuming out the side of heat. So I was like, oh, kind of looks like Aladdin's bottle. So I'll just go down there, head down, and try what's inside. Now this is actually sakla, which is a milk consistency that is warm with cinnamon on top and a dessert. And ooh. Ooh, it's so sweet smelling. Whoa, that is good. That is delicious. This is very good. And especially on a cold day like today, it's perfect. So good, I've never tasted anything like this. It's kind of like the, uh, like the whip on top of a coffee, right? Or like an eggnog whip type deal. It's actually based out of a desert plant and mixed with milk and heated and it is delicious something you must try i can't even tell you how to find the place though because it was just a complete accident but these people are super friendly and it's really really good we did try turkish coffee earlier today when we first started our day but i can tell you one thing it was not made the way this is made so this is actually heated by sand i tried it from a coffee shop i just feel like i need to try it again hey coco but they do have breakfast at this place on the corner. So this place is called Chayangiyar. They do also offer Turkish breakfast here. And when in Turkey, do as the Turkish do and eat the breakfast. So I'm excited to try it. I'm starving. 
Bon special. Yeah, and one coffee. Thank you so much. Thank you. Due to the inside dining being closed in most places, I'm actually going to uh, bring this stuff outside, hopefully eat outside the front. They do have a table outside that hopefully we can eat there. I was not expecting this. I saw a little plastic container up there. I thought that's what we were getting. Yo, they just hooked us up. All right, so we got the spread here. It comes with potatoes, bread, some quiche style eggs and like tomatoes, cheese, some meat, some jam, some honey. And they say that you can't actually start your day in Turkey without a breakfast like this. This is very common throughout the Turkish families. They say that on the weekends, it's most important. They go through about five to seven pots of coffee before they even eat breakfast. Even if you're not a morning person, a breakfast like this will sure help you get through the day. So let's start out. I'm gonna try this. Give this a go. This looks like it's got eggs and some sort of bread. Mmm. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what to go for next. All right. I'm gonna go for some meat. Mm. That cheese is really good. Now we have a couple different kinds of cheese here. Actually, three different kinds of cheese. And it's nice to have so many different things. You got your proteins from your eggs, you got your carbs from your bread and your potatoes. You have your jam for your sweets to get a little sugar, your tea to wash it all down, and of course some Turkish coffee. You really can't go wrong with this, but you know, I'm gonna go for the honey. I'm a sweets guy, I got a sweet tooth. I'm just gonna, I don't even know if this is even legal right now. <laughs> what I just did, I don't even know that's legal, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm. I'm actually glad we grabbed two of these because we killed it. I absolutely demolished it. They do have these like kind of bagels, like they're bread bagels, and they put Nutella on them if you want for what two What's lire. What's their name? And it's nice because What's the gentleman's wearing a glove. He's not touching the food unless he's got a glove on, and it seems super fresh. So it's kind of like a bagel, but a pretzel as well. It's not so fresh. It's not as fresh as I expected. Although it is delicious with the chocolate Nutella. Very good. And a great snack to start the day. Niwan. So it's a fried sweet donut. And I am so excited to try this. Butter sugar donut. That is bomb. Next level, yo. Good choice, man. They have two number. Cinnamon too. Mmm. Wow. I heard food. It tastes like a fried funnel cake that you get at like a carnival. It's so so good. It was seven lira, seven and a half for a little cup, and it's delicious. But now I'm definitely gonna have a heart attack. It's fried and caramelized cheese with pistachio on it. You can see the the caramelization just adds so much texture to it. You can see the brown. It looks delicious. Mm. The sugar caramelized makes it incredibly sweet. So you, I could see like sharing this with a couple people because I don't think I'd be able to eat this all by myself or I'd probably get a stomach ache. Especially paired with the Turkish coffee at like 11 in the morning. Quite a kick to the old uh, stomach first thing in the morning, but it is delicious. And something you could definitely share as a dessert while having some Turkish coffee. So we just saw something really interesting. This gentleman is actually making tea in the front seat of his car. Inside of it, and he has to go cups. I think I'm gonna grab myself one. The only other time I've seen something like this is during uh, Day of the Dead in Mexico. They had people serving Coronas out of the trunk of the car. I think, uh, we're gonna stop and grab some tea. It's a cold day, you gotta warm up. I actually thought that the Fiat was on fire for a second, so that's why I stopped. I was like, dude, the car is on fire. We, are, we need to help this man. And I look over and he's actually just brewing up a pot of tea 
in the front seat of his car. As authentic as it gets, Turkish tea. Wow, it's nice. That's really good. It's really nice. One cup, one cube of sugar, not too sweet, has nice flavor. It's really good. It's only five lira, and the gentleman is super kind. Very nice, very nice guy. We walked down the street, we saw this, and all their food is cooked over charcoal oh. here with peppers, tomatoes, and it is just such a good smell. So Chris is like, all right, we're not going any farther. We're stopping here. I can't avoid the Turkish smells, man. So good. So we actually got two different flavors. Chris got chicken. chicken. I got lamb. I figure we'll split, right? Yeah, why we not? Try both. Ooh, gotta open up the Ayurani. Shake that good. Let's Shake hope this thing good. doesn't spray all over me. You know, the difference between the yogurt here and the yogurt in the US is the consistency. This is like more of a drink. All the menu shows you're supposed to have an Ayurani with your meal. This is definitely a drink. So I got the lamb, Chris got the chicken. Let's give it a go. I love how the bread is toasted. And it's all cooked over charcoal, so it has a, a really good smoky flavor. There's a lot of different herbs in this. It comes with lettuce, tomato, onions, lamb, and a bunch of sauces. Now I'm gonna wash it down with this. Whoa. That is extremely different. It's plain yogurt and it's extremely salty. The locals here do drink the Ayurani with Iran, with, uh, with a straw. It's, it's just like a, it's a normal drink to them, and that's how they wash down their food. So my kebab, the lamb kebab is 14. You said, Chris, yours was 12? 12. Chicken was 12, lamb 14. Now that's not a big price difference for a very different type of meat. For lamb, that's actually very cheap, I would say. The street that we're on right here, down by the water is more local, where a lot of people go over near Tatsum Square for the Arab spices, like the Syrian, like very spicy food. A lot different flavor. You have to really be acquired to the heat in order to deal with it and enjoy the food because this is way more enjoyable to me than what I had the other day. We were going to go to a place that we researched for baklava, but actually, we just found this little small bakery and it looks so homey and welcoming. So we're gonna go inside and try some desserts here. Original. So they sell coffee here. It looks like they have pies, chocolate breads, different like spinach filled breads, mini pizzas. They got everything in here. 13 lira for the two pieces. Ooh. Wait, should we grab something else? Yeah, whatever that cake is. This cake. No, the white cake. Oh, that looks good. One of good. those. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, bro. Okay, this is the name. I have Shahi. How do you say it, Chris? I'm gonna give you guys my best. My best <laughs> this is so hard for me. Tarihi, Tarihi Chihangir Simit Firini. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing at us. Ooh, this this one nice looks one. like it's gonna be next level. Ooh, sweet. That looks so sweet. That was just like my sweet tooth kicking in. Like I just had no choice. I was like, I'm here, this cake looks bomb. I'm gonna try it. It's crispy on the outside. And it looks like it's got some sort of like sugar coating or like some, oh, okay. Okay, here, bro, I'll okay. help you out. I'll All help right. you out. I'll take this half. All right. So the inside, I'm thinking pistachio. Yep, yep. I'm thinking pistachio. Pistachio, it's super flaky. It doesn't really have a smell at no all. No smell at all. But. I hear it's very sweet and it's like a very famous Turkish dessert, so let's go. Let's give it a go. When you look at it, it looks flaky. It looks like it's gonna be crispy, but it's so sugary and so sweet that like, as soon as you bite into it, it's kind of like that donut. It turns into like a moist, like the, the, the frosting like melts and it like moisturizes your mouth because yep. it's so sugary. So what you think is gonna be a crispy, flaky pastry turns into being like a soft, sugary dessert that is extremely full of flavor with pistachio. And it's delicious. It has chunks of actual whole pistachio all around it and stuffed on the inside. Good. Instantly so much more different than a So lot it looks of the like it's got I've a had. cherry and cream top frosting, and then on the inside it also has like a uh, like a vanilla pudding at the bottom. Like it's like it's actually got milk at the bottom of the cake. Wow. Okay, so. Oh, wow. This is exactly. We have the, th this exact kind of cake in Mexican Let culture. Me get another one. Now, this is actually my favorite cake in the world. And she told me it was called Tres Leches Cake. When I was a kid, it was the only cake I could eat because cakes for me are often just a bit dry. This one's so moist, filled with milk. Whatever you say. 
Yo, some things you don't have to say words. This has a soft cake taste, so it's not a... Yes, the, the frosting is sweet because of the cherry, but it's not overly sugary sweet like the baklava. Like the baklava. This bakery that we just went to actually has a line outside of it now, so I, I don't know if we just found like a, a gem on accident or if she's just that well known in this local area for being incredible. One of the gentlemen at the stand actually told me Bambi Cafe has it, so I'm gonna give it a go. We're gonna see if they have this one here. Bambi. I wonder if they have venison meat. So a dili kasari toast. Yo, bro. Try this. Try this, I'll try that. Okay. I'm gonna step outside, okay? Thank you so much. Back home, hunting is a big thing in my hometown and especially at my house because we have a bunch of land. And I guess they call it Bambi Cafe for a reason. This toasty is venison meat and cheese. And it's actually like a grilled cheese, but with venison meat on it. You saw them place the butter all over the top of it and then grill it. So, ooh. You can tell right away it's venison. But the crispy, warm texture from the bread is phenomenal. I've been to a lot of countries and I've never seen deer other than in Thailand. And now here in Turkey. All right, so I got one more thing. Now, the last thing we ordered was an Islock burger. Now, you know us Americans, we love our burgers. This is beef, but it's different than a normal burger. Normally, the burgers are dry, the buns are dry, they're not as moist. This, you can see the steam rolling off this Islock burger. And it's small with sauce on it. It's really good. The patties are very thin. The meat it kind of has a marinara taste to it, other than just a ketchup. One year, two year. Mm. Good snack, very good snack. Not, mm, not my favorite kind of burger. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of the of the marinara on a burger. But if you like marinara and like tomato sauce like that you're gonna love it. But to be honest, if you're paying 16 lira, it was phenomenal, but you're paying because you're eating deer in the middle of a city. Like it cannot be easy to come by venison meat in the city. Now, the, the burger was only six lira. It's easy, it's accessible, and it's very common to be found here.